Hello, today we will install Dynatrace operator on a KH cluster to go from zero to full observability in under three minutes. But before we do that, let's answer a couple of questions. First thing is how is it actually going to help you? So it's going to help you answer a couple of questions about your KH clusters. And the first one is how is the health of your KH clusters across your namespaces, your pods, your services, and your deployments across all of your KH infrastructure? What is the health look like? What does health look like? The second very important question that's going to help you answer is what does utilization look like within your KH clusters? So when we talk about memories, quotas to ensure that your clusters are provisioned appropriately and then are optimized for maximum benefits, you will like to install the operator and get utilization metrics. The third and the very important question that it's going to help you answer is what events actually need priority, whether there are some namespace events, pod or service level events that are happening within your Kubernetes clusters, and you would like to get a view into all of those. The operator that you install can help you answer all of those questions by going from zero to full observability in under three minutes. So let's get started. Here we have two screens. One is our Dynatrace screen where we will be actually getting the instructions to install the operator. The second one is our AKS cluster that we have connected to where we will be installing the Dynatrace operator. So let's get ahead. First thing when we click on the add cluster is it shows us a list of distributions. But before I do that, I'm going to start this because we are doing it in less than three minutes. So let's start the stopwatch. So here I can select which distribution I want. I am going to do it in Azure Kubernetes service. So I select that because based on this, the YAML file will be created for us in the background. As we want to go from zero to full observability, we will be selecting both of these things. First one is the Kubernetes observability that is going to answer all the questions that we talked about. And then of course, our application observability, which is going to give us things like distributed tracing, APM, code level profiling of all the services that are running on your KH clusters and so on. So once I select both of these things and I scroll down, it is asking me for things like configure my cluster, the name of the cluster and my API tokens. So let's go ahead and create all of those. Once we create those, I have provided the name of my cluster. I have the tokens and now what it does is it gives me a YAML file to download. I have downloaded this YAML file and I have made it available in my cloud cons shell. So here I'm first going to run the helm command. Once I run that, um, I will also keep the second command ready, which is my Dynacube file in order to install the Dynatrace operator. Okay, it seems like the first command ran. We are now going to install the actual operator by applying this YAML file. Okay, so it says that the resources have been created and everything is done. So let's actually see what was installed. So when I go in here and I get namespace, you will see that there was a Dynatrace namespace that was added just 47 seconds ago. So it means that my Dynatrace namespace is now created. Um, in this Dynatrace namespace, now we will see what has actually been installed. So you can see that there are a bunch of components that have been installed in the Dynatrace namespace, including a CSI driver and an active gate. While this is coming up and the installation is done, um, let us stop this stopwatch because we were able to install the operator in less than three minutes. And now we will go back and take a look at what data is coming in in Dynatrace by installing this operator. The operator is now reporting data back into Dynatrace and we can answer the questions that we set out to. The first one is the health of your cluster itself and the health of your namespaces, your workloads and your nodes. So you can see here one namespace is unhealthy. You can actually drill down into it and same with the workloads. Which ones are healthy, which ones are unhealthy are showcased up right here so that you can take a look and get detailed information about the health of your KH cluster. Um, once you scroll down, you can actually see what those events are. Why do we say that those nodes and those workloads are unhealthy? 
what are the events that are happening in them, be able to prioritize those events and fix them in order, fix the most frequently occurring events in order to solve the problems. The next thing is the utilization of your clusters. What does the utilization actually look like? Are you over provisioning your clusters or under provisioning them just so that you can do a little bit of optimization of your workloads and be able to utilize your clusters in an efficient manner? We are also picking up all the events since we even though we are picking up all the events, the operator is picking them up, but it is bubbling them up right here where it is showing you which ones are important. You can actually see what is unhealthy and then go and try to fix it. So if I click here, it shows me all the four unhealthy workloads and then what are those events? So whether it is back off events, how many times it is happening, and then you can take a look at whether it's happening in one container on what namespace and drill down into all the details in order to fix this problem. So what are you waiting for? Go get your Dynatrace trial and then install Dynatrace on your K8 cluster in, as we do it right here in under three minutes, to go from zero to full observability. Thank you.